Greetings Mac Warriors, my name is TTB and this of course is German Mac Engineering and today guys we are going to play the Warhammer Black Widow and this is a very special Black Widow, this is the three nipple Black Widow. What is that? Let's turn this bad boy around, shall we? Badum The Slapper Warhammer. You guys know it, you guys love it. You can actually make a Slap Widow with triple lb tens and that is exactly what we're going to play today guys let's have a look at the build now the basis is going to be a standard engine 240 yes you're hearing me correctly standard 240 that means you're going to be very slow 55 kph that is all you get you don't get more than that this is basically an assault mech now okay then we have two of the lb tens in the right torso one lb10 in the right uh, the left torso as well as a double heatsink to uh, account for the fact that we're only running a engine that is below 250 rating, so you have to add a double heatsink here. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and a half tons of ammo. That is literally all we can bring. If we wanted to bring more, we would have to lower the head armor to one, the right arm to one, as well as the legs even a little bit further, and then we could bring a half ton more ammo. But I thought to myself, this should be fine the way it is. Six and a half tons of ammo is plenty of ammo. Now, as you can see, this mech is basically stripped down to the bones. It is a walking right and left torso with LB10s, but it is going to be great fun to play, of course, guys. And when you go ahead and you open up components, you get that extra crit chance from the LB10s. Now, for the skill tree, we are choosing the following. We take the right-hand side of the firepower tree for magazine capacity 1 and 2, very important, and LBX spread 1 and 2, plus a few of the heat gen, cooldown and whatever nodes over here. Then we go into the survival tree, we take the full survival tree, we are going to be very slow, so we take the full survival tree with maximum armor hardening and maximum skeletal density. Then we go into the sensors tree, we take seismic sensor 1 and 2 and all of the radar deprivation nodes. And in the auxiliary tree, I actually have here double kushok with kushok cooldown and double artillery strike. You gotta experiment with that a little bit, guys. Sometimes you get to shoot like crazy and you have to use a kushok. Sometimes it's it's not really needed, so you might as well just bring a UAV if you want to. Well, that is going to be the build for today, guys. Let's take this bad boy into a dropship and let's see how it performs. I'll see you there. Well guys, here we are in the beautiful, beautiful land of the Grim Plexus and I'm trying to find some targets here. My teammates are going towards the Fox 7 area. The enemy team has pushed from their base Target through Echo 6, Fox 6 and Fox 7 slash Gulf 7. And as you can see, the targets are now target on our left hand acquired. side. So we will be going ahead and engaging these guys as much as possible. But we need to do this in a smart way. We can't just go up top and just go target into them. Spotted. That would be unhealthy. So instead, we're going to go around the corner here and then start the fight against the Ladas and his buddy down here, the Cyclops. Let's go down there and engage the Cyclops. Uh, try not to walk into my teammates' line of fire. Instead, we focus on the CT together with our teammates, take him down. Now we go onto the enemy Marauder 2 and his friend up top. Now now we do need a little bit of backup here, I have no idea why I am so fast with 55 kph, but it's alright. Enemy Evan Jaguar coming forward and oh he's got bunny ears, let's go ahead and take those away. Uh, he's actually in rage for his ATM, so we need to do some damage to him and take him down before he shoots us. Beautiful. Now we go on to the enemy Bladas once again, nicely massaging his CT and side torso. And if we can, actually we can probably break it away or we can go for his CT once we get in range again. Um, teammates are dancing around this building here. Let's just get around the corner and kill them as soon as possible. Come on. You know? Okay, never mind. ECM coming in here. That is somebody under stealth, I believe, even. And uh, yeah, I can't really engage him right now. Let's just fall back a little bit and use this corner to engage these targets. Oh, that is beautiful, guys. I can basically shoot with impunity. The enemy team is completely ignoring me. Yeah, that is fine. That is perfect. Okay, let's push a little bit on the right-hand side now, guys. I want to make sure that my teammates are getting a little bit of relief on the left side. And the easiest way I can do this is by trying to cause a little bit of ruckus here on the right-hand side. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Oh, hello there. Scorch, but actually very damaged. Maybe we can take away his side torso. That would be nice if we can do that. Or we can take away the leg. That would be even better. Then he's going to be slow. 
and very, very dead. Now, my left side torso is chewed up a little bit, but that's all right. The right side torso is the more important one because there is one more LV-10 in there. So let's get around this corner and let's see what do we have down there. That's a Scorch who's probably dead now. Good. So let's uh, squeeze around the corner here, give our teammate a little bit of room to move. Okay, he doesn't want to come back. That's all right. See, I left a little bit of room and that allowed my executioner buddy to actually fall back. Uh, if you go too close here, you're just going to end up blocking him and blocking yourself. So make sure if possible, if at all possible, you leave a little bit of the room. Well, oh, he uh, doesn't want to go further. Okay, well, oh, sorry. Doesn't matter. Well, speaking about leaving room for people, um, of course, there can also be misunderstandings. I thought my crab buddy would be pushing a little bit further. Unfortunately, he didn't, but that's okay. Seven kills over five right now, so we still have to do a lot of work here. I think I just destroyed his leg. Yep, beautiful. Um, he face tanks him a little bit too much, but uh, we take the kill in the end anyway. So now we go on to Delta here. 9M Marauder. And uh, yeah, we lost an LB10, but that's okay. I still got two left. And from this position, guys, I can just keep the fire going. I've got to my left-hand side this little bit of acquired. steel burner, and that keeps me reasonably safe from uh, most of the stuff. Also, my teammates are in front of me this time, so, yeah, I should be fine. I mean, I've tanked my fair share. I'm at 38% of a mech. I just keep the fire going now and watch as the enemy teammates are trying to kill my buddies. Target and, of course, destroyed. I have something to say about that. Oop, there is an enemy fridge coming in, an ice fridge, an ice ferret. Uh, let's go a little bit further down here. I don't want to get murdered by it. Um, I am a very, very juicy and easy kill right now. Target. And the last guy over there is going Target. to be a large Destroy. laser raven. XL check was just completed. And the ice fridge is right now between Gulf 7 and Gulf 8. Always look, guys, for those um, low radar or low signal stuffies on uh, your, your teammates. If you can see those low signal icons, then go ahead and uh, be sure acquired. that there is an enemy that is uh, using ECM or stealth onto them. There we go, last target is down, 12 kills over 7, final score for my team. Let's have a look how we did on the scoreboard. That was a fun little round, very dangerous towards the end, but hey, we're alive. 3 killing blows, 8 assists, 2 kill most damage dealt, 969 damage done, 446 damage taken, and 9 components ripped apart. That, I would say guys, is a very, very solid performance in a triple LB10 build. And if you enjoyed this content, guys, go ahead and check out my Patreon page, become an active member of Team TTB. Ah, that was fun. So, now let's go on to the next map here. We're going to be on HPG Manifold. We've just cleared the Delta 3 gate. And I'm going to go to walk towards my online. assaults to try and uh, unite the front with them. And then hopefully we can go ahead and shoot the enemy. But uh, for that to happen, I need to get out of here first. We are very, very slow, guys. You know that. So... I Target. need to be walking towards my goal and I need to not stop. If you stop at this point, what will happen is the enemy team is always going to rotate counterclockwise, so they're going to push straight into you and you won't have enough speed to run away yeah, and you will be dead. Oh uh, speaking of which, that is an enemy got us coming in already. So let's try and get an artillery strike onto these guys and uh, get a little bit of fire into them, but not stick around for too long. If we stick around, we need to make sure that we have top access here and are able to rotate through the top because that is a very much shorter way and it looks like we actually have top access here. Beautiful. So, we'll stay up here instantly. We drop the terrorist strike if we can, the next one at least, onto that enemy ramp. New target acquired. Then we start engaging any target that we see. I'm going to go to the right hand side a little bit here so that I have a target little bit of cover target if anybody comes acquired. up. So I can actually retreat uh, if I have to. Now, the enemy seems to be really hell bent on killing my buddies over there. So, what we'll do is we'll drop the terrorist strike here on these guys activated. and then engage onto that enemy Kodiak Spirit Bear and do a little bit of damage to him. We, I expect counterfire any second. No, he's just busy twisting okay let's take the side torso and target then we go straight for CT with our teammates beautiful now on the right hand target side there's gonna be battle master coming in he's got medium races medium pulses yeah mediums what the hell that's a that's target a weird spotted. battle master all right uh, i'm just gonna ignore him for now let's just go ahead and shoot these guys that just murdered my assault mate because uh i just want to make sure they're not feeling too happy and too confident now what New do we target. have here now okay that's the battle master we still stay top we just keep the lb tents trained on the enemy and we just keep on firing like a madman target. Over side. Torso, XL check complete. Wow, XL battle master. All right, um, it is possible, but you can't play like that. Target Let acquired. me go down here onto the enemy mad cat. He just doesn't want to twist because he has, he's afraid of twisting into the enemy faff there. But <laughs> oh, poor backshot. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, I have to murder you now. But do you see how much damage target you can actually destroyed. take when you uh, twist acquired. your side torso? That is uh, half the damage if you actually twist 
your side torso that is destroyed into the fire. Um, by the way, yeah, also the reason why I didn't get that kill is because my friendly acquired. quick draw oh, actually jumped into my line of fire and uh, took a bit of damage and that might have Target been enough spotted. to get the kill. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and see what we can do here. Let's try and retake top. That's a lot of streaks on that enemy mad dog. Let's get oh, his side torso if we damage. can at all. Come on, give me that side torso please, would you? There we go, that's the side torso. And another damage bit in here. Yeah, he's just half a mech now. Unfortunately, mm, I'm also not so hot here. Where are my teammates? Okay, there's some here. Two assaults, actually. Okay. I've got I've got assaults with me. Uh, the question is just, will they engage? Uh, the answer is no. The answer is potato. Okay. Um, well, guys, I am officially fudged now at this point. Uh, I can't do much. I know the enemy is around here. Acquired. I can try and engage as much as I can, but uh, it is going to be hard. I think I got the legs on the shadow cat here. Yep, he's just got one more leg left, but uh, I'm getting pushed in. And as I said, guys, my teammates just uh, they went on a little rotation. Now they're coming back. Um, so, with that, but that's okay. Target Let's see what acquired. the rest of the match has in store for us. Nice Kodiak build, by the way. Very classic. Quad LB10. He's got one LB10 more than I have. I want to have Quad LB10 on my normal Warhammer. New that would be nice. Acquired. Let's see. That's an enemy Shadowcat. Another Shadowcat, actually. A different one than before. Um, he is basically about to lose his legs. This guy was just killed. Um, Nova is me. trying to find some targets here. Medium passes and machine guns. That looks fun. And uh, yeah, oh, okay. Two fridges down in the basement together. Target they are going to battle target. with the Nova. And they're going on two versus a tower who just died. And what else do we have here? A locust. And. Oh, there was something else, I think. Can't really see it right now, but that is okay. So the enemy team has no chance to win at this point anymore. The locust is just going to keep running around, and then at some point somebody is going to murder him. Potentially that marauder. We'll see. Mram 30s and medium lasers. Very good and very solid build. Uh, nope, nope. He's being hunted. He's being hunted. Come on, guys. Kill him. It's just a locust. Okay, he's up top now. Come on, Baradul. I believe. Target yes. Destroyed. Beautiful. Okay, so 12 kills over 6, a final score. Um, my death was a little bit uh, pointless. I would have liked to live there, but unfortunately my assault mates chose to uh, go up top, even though there was no need to. Still, 1 kill below, 10 assists, 1 kill most damage dealt, 827 damage done, 500 damage taken, 8 components destroyed. Still, I would say a very, very good run and also top damage on my team for this one. GG. Guys, try this build. Let me know how it goes for you in the comments below. Drop me a thumbs up. And other than that, have a great day. I'll see you soon and take care. By the way, 12 hours stream tomorrow.